In this video, we'll be talking about absolute value inequalities with infinite solutions and absolute value inequalities with no solution. So I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you already know how to solve an absolute value inequality, but you're just having a little bit of difficulty with those special cases with infinite or no solutions. So let's take a look at how to look at these questions. So here we have an absolute value inequality and I am saying, let's make this actually greater than negative four. Okay, so here we have that the absolute value of something is greater than a negative number. So if you focus on the bigger meaning, the fact that this is saying the absolute value of something, it doesn't matter what's in there, is greater than a negative, doesn't matter what negative, this is actually always, always, always going to be true because the absolute value has to be zero or up. It has to be at least zero or a positive number. So by saying that the absolute value is greater than a negative number, well, duh, of course the absolute value is greater than a negative number because the absolute value has to be zero or more which means that it doesn't matter what this value is, it could be anything, anything whatsoever, the absolute value of this is always going to be greater than a negative number. So that means that this has infinite solutions. Oops. There we go. All right, let's look at another one, which is slightly different and requires slightly more work. All right, so let's say you have 5 times x plus 2, oops, that should be like that, is, let's get plus 20, is greater than negative 4. All right, so we can't just look at this and say, oh, negative 4, that means obviously there are infinite solutions. No, we first have to isolate that absolute value part. And if that absolute value part is greater than a negative, then they're infinite solutions. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we can subtract 20 from both sides. And we get that 5, sorry, x, 5x plus 2 is greater than negative 24. And right away, we know that when we divide 5, we're going to have an, a negative on the right side, but let's do it anyway. So we have here that x plus 2 is greater than negative 24 over 5. So now it's saying that the absolute value is greater than a negative. And as long as the absolute value is greater than a negative, there are infinite solutions. So now you know, in this case as well, there are infinite solutions. All right, let's take a look at how you know there are no solutions. Okay, so let's say you have 3x minus 1 is less than negative 4. All right, now notice in this case, my sign is saying that the absolute value is a less than a negative number. So I'll write down the words for that doesn't matter what's in that absolute value sign, but it's saying that the absolute value of something is less than a negative. And it doesn't even matter what negative, as long as it's negative. Well, we should know by now that the absolute value is never, ever less than a negative. Absolute value cannot, no way, no how, never, ever be less than a negative. Which means it doesn't matter what this x is, the absolute value cannot be negative and therefore this cannot exist. There are no possible solutions for x. So, no solution. And like we did before, if we have an, an inequality, but we have multiple things over on the left side of the equation or over with the absolute value, just first isolate that absolute value sign. And if you ever get that the absolute value is less than a negative, you would know that there is no solutions. That's it. Have a great one.